Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the reactions of acid anhydrides. And I'm going to first start with hydrolysis, uh, which is the reaction of water and the conversion to carboxylic acids. Uh, and generally, everything that I'm going to talk about here can be done to both uh, symmetric and mixed anhydrides. Um, but in some cases, mixed anhydrides can be trouble. Uh, because one part of this anhydride needs to become the leaving group, and depending on the type of reaction, it might not react farther, and you don't have any control in a mixed anhydride what part becomes the leaving group. So, um, acid anhydrides are, are, again, relatively reactive, and so they can be converted into... Uh, carboxylic acids directly by, by the reaction with water. This reaction does not need acid or base, but it's certainly improved uh, by acid or base. Right. And th in this case, you know, with through proton transfers, the leaving group gets, gets, becomes carboxylic acid as well. They can react with alcohols to form esters. Um, again, here's a case now where it's not obvious. You know, if we had a, you know, if we had a, a non-symmetric or mixed anhydride, which one would be the the electrophile, which part would be the leaving group, because the one that is the leaving group ends up as a carboxylic acid and is not going to form a, you know, it's not going to form a, an ester through this mechanism. Uh, just like with acid anhydrides, this reaction is all, often has a, a base added to it. Uh, the benefit of having that base there is that instead of Forming carboxylic acid as one as the let that just an R. Let's try this, but rather than having, um, I really do not like the way that looks. Hold on. Rather than having uh, the carboxylic acid, you form uh, the carboxylate salt of the, the amine in HR3+, there we go, uh, which is water-soluble and easy to remove. So, um, but again, this is still going to follow the neutral mechanism. Uh, you'll get nucleophilic attack first. Right. Uh, certainly, it's possible for, this, for you to do this reaction and the base is an alkoxide anion, such that things are, are, are reasonable, or to, to use acid uh, as well. Um, I'm just going to talk about. And if you do um, sodium ethoxide in, in alcohol salt, or sodium alkoxide in alcohol solvent, uh, now you're going to get the basic mechanism, but you're just, of getting the same kind of product. Okay. And then like acid chlorides, uh, acid anhydrides also react with amines and ammonia to form amides. Uh, and this is very similar. And this also tends to go by the neutral mechanism where uh, one equivalent of amine or ammonia is used as the nucleophile, and then the second one is, comes in, in and acts as a base. Uh, again, because the, the leaving group comes off as a carboxylic acid, it actually tends to form as the ammonium salt. So it's a you know, water-soluble product, so it's easy to, uh, easy to remove if you need it. And this reaction works for primary amines and secondary amines and tends not to work for tertiary amines. Oh, 
Rubidium. I wish I had a keyboard shortcut to put in the, the R group. Like the, the, the software really is not designed to, to give me that ability. I have to type in R manually. It only likes me to do auto typing uh, of uh, elements. So, right? uh, and again, this tends not to work really well for tertiary means. This wraps up the reactions of acid anhydrides. Next up are the esters. Thank you for watching.